Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy, MF Crypto here. AKA Quantradamus. AKA the Wife Changer. AKA the Quant Father. Once again. And as always, I'm on a mission to help you build generational wealth. Welcome back to the channel, my fellow subscribers. And for those of you who may be tuning in for the very first time, do yourselves a major favor and hit that subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications because I provide the single greatest quant network updates on all of YouTube. Guys, let's not delay any further. This is a massive video update that I had to bring to your attention today. Algorand founder and MIT professor Silvio Macaulay pays homage to Quant Network. And you know, if you follow me over on Twitter at the real MF Crypto, you know I'm all about paying homage. So when my man Silvio over here is found paying homage, we got to bring it to your attention. This is a highly intelligent man. The brains behind an incredible project that I also support massively, Algorand. Give it a look if you haven't done so already throughout your crypto journey. It is a phenomenal project that I am personally invested in myself. Always do your own research, but it is a phenomenal project. We're currently trading at 101.02, down 1.32% on the daily. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue to slip. We were down to as low as $100.24 today. Guys, again, watch that psychological level of $100. If we fall below that, and believe me, we will fall below that. Once BTC starts to tumble, it's over. We saw Bitcoin take a dump today and that is why we are hovering around that $100 psychological range. It is an absolutely critical level to hold. If it falls and we start to consolidate underneath it and bounce around in the $95 to $100 range, we could see further downside in store moving forward. That is a very critical level to hold the $100 mark again. Keep your eyes laser focused on it. But now we move over to the main event of the evening. Algorand founder Silvio Macaulay right here for you. Inventor of zero knowledge proofs. Highly intelligent man. Academia de Lince. This guy is a highly intelligent individual. You don't just become an MIT professor. You need to have the credentials and the knowledge to be able to work at that university. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a video from Paris Block Week. Listen in, it'll blow your mind. Develop the best blockchain there is, but in my opinion, what is going to be important is really interoperability, because essentially we tell the world, uh, come to my ecosystem, and then you say, well, yes, come, but to my your own ecosystem. And then, uh, you know, it is a one big world which we want to live and love and, and operate and uh, nobody wants to see with suspicion if I commit into a blockchain I'm going to be stuck there forever which one should I choose so the moment in which we really get serious about interoperability so that you can choose the blockchain but whatever you choose for your local operation you can interoperate with the rest of the world this is going to be, in my opinion, the in, in inflection point from a technology point of view. There it is from Silvio Macaulay himself from the mouth of babes. This individual is stating on his own personal opinion here at the Paris Blockchain Week that he believes that once interoperability comes to the forefront and we get serious about it, the world gets serious about interoperability, that is when blockchain technology will take the next step because then we can move seamlessly from one to the other. Transactions will become seamless across all networks. And if you've been following this channel for any length of time, you know that Quant Network has solved interoperability. It's already decided. It's already proven that their technology works. They have shown time and time again that they will be 
the network of networks, the overarching system that everything else operates off of. That is why you need to be positioned firmly in quant network moving forward. DCA strategy always is what I very, very highly recommend. Always do your own research, ladies and gentlemen. But let's slide over and why I continue to get you prepared here moving forward for the financial collapse that we are about to see. This is a tweet from my guy, Quant is the key over on Twitter. Objectively speaking, Quant has broken down from this massive head and shoulders pattern. While the price action sucks, now is absolutely not the time to sell. Never sell into weakness, always sell into strength. If anything, accumulating more here is the wise choice. Don't forget what you hold, the king of interoperability. Partnered with Oracle, SIA, BIS, Lackchain, MIT. Don't forget the total addressable market for Overledger. Don't forget Quant Token's central role in the operation of Overledger Network. This too shall pass. He believes, as well as I do, that Quant is beginning to break down from this long awaited and very widely speculated head and shoulders pattern here you got your left your head and your right shoulder where people were clowning me right here at this point they were saying that mf crypto has lost his marbles he's a perma bear he doesn't know anything he's clueless about ta and charts when i give you any of my opinions it is my complete unadulterated thoughts and opinions on quant I set up here that we were going to go down in a major way. We fell flat on our face back to the 110 range. Then once we started to ride this back up again and all the bulls were starting to lose their minds. And again, clowning Quanstradamus' predictions. I said this was going to be another reversal. And we saw that again. And we have seen continued downside. He believes here that we have broken out of this wedge to the downside. And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, we will see further downside, especially if that $100 psychological mark falls on its face. If that $100 psychological range is broken, we can see those levels that I have talked about in the past validated along with BTC price action continuing to dump. We can see the $80 level next. I will not get ahead of myself but I will say $80 will firmly be in play and you need to have cash ready to deploy in case that scenario plays out. Nothing is a given, nothing is a guaranteed. But again, I told you all the way up around the $200 mark that we were headed back to $100 and below. We have now seen $100, let me pull it up for you one more time. We have seen $100 from 200 once again cut in half. Quantradamus doesn't play, ladies and gentlemen. He's here for you. That is all for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. This has been another feature presentation by MF Crypto, a.k.a. Quantradamus, a.k.a. The Wife Changer, a.k.a. The Quant Father, the number one source for all your crypto needs. I'll see you next episode. Cheers. If the lion is the king of the jungle, how can he be the king of the jungle? If he's not the biggest, the elephant is probably one of the biggest. He can't be the fastest because that's a cheetah. He can't be the smartest. So he's not the biggest, the fastest, or the smartest. So how does a lion become the king of the jungle? His mentality. That's the only difference of a lion and an elephant. When a lion walks up and sees an elephant, he thinks lunch. An elephant thinks run. And it's all mentality. Because when a male lion walks up, he may be outnumbered by a pack of hyenas, but I'm king of my jungle because of my mentality. What happens when you're a gazelle and you're not being pushed? You're not being prodded. You're not giving them a reward. Nobody's encouraging you. What happens when you're a gazelle and the lion's not chasing you anymore? You stop running. But what happens when you're a lion? When you're a lion, it does not make a difference. You realize that if your family is going to eat, that if that pack of lions is to survive, then you gotta go hunt. 
A part of being a beast just ain't eating a gazelle. A part of being a beast is the hunts. It's the hunt that they're excited about. They like to see the gazelles run. Then boom, they take off. Cause real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You don't like the process. You're not in love with the process. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. When you are a true hunter, you hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. And then you get another, and then you get another, and you get another. If you're gonna do what you say you're gonna do, be what you say you're gonna be, you're gonna have to lie me out. You a gazelle, you gonna come up short. You a gazelle, you gonna have an average experience. You a student, I need you in lion mode. You an entrepreneur, I need you in lion mode. You try to lose weight, lion mode. You can't do nothing significant in gazelle mode, nothing. Nothing impressive happens in gazelle mode. Nothing happens in run mode, give up mode, quit mode, scared mode, fearful mode, nothing happens. Everything happened in lion mode like I'm coming to get you.